Welcome back to Pigeon Auction, your go-to channel for everything related to racing pigeons. Today we're diving into an important topic that every pigeon enthusiast should know about, uh, Trichomonas gallinae, commonly known as pigeon canker or trichomonosis. But before we get started, if you're passionate about racing pigeons, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an update. Give us a thumbs up if you find this information useful. And let us know in the comments if you have any experiences or questions regarding pigeon health. Your support is invaluable and keeps our community thriving. Part 2. Understanding Trechomonas. Let's jump in. Trechomonas galenae is a single-celled protozoan parasite that primarily affects the digestive system of our feathered friends, particularly in their throat and crop. While it mainly impacts pigeons, this parasite can also infect doves and other bird species. During warm and wet conditions, such as breeding seasons or overcrowded environments, the risk of trichomonosis outbreaks increases. So, understanding what it is and how it spreads is essential for anyone involved in racing pigeons. Causes of infection. The transmission route for Trichomonas is straightforward. It's primarily spread through saliva or pigeon milk. When pigeons clean their beaks or feed their young, they can easily contaminate food and water with this organism. If another pigeon consumes this contaminated food or water, they may become infected. Young birds can get the infection from adult birds during feeding, especially during that intimate feeding behavior called billing, where adult pigeons regurgitate food for their nestlings. Symptoms to watch for. Now let's talk about the symptoms. Infected pigeons may develop white or yellow plaques in their mouths and throats, making eating and drinking difficult. You may notice that affected birds become lethargic, lose weight, or show reluctance to feed, signs we can't afford to ignore. Other symptoms might include coughing, nasal discharge, and in more severe cases, green diarrhea. As a responsible pigeon fancier, keeping a close watch for these signs can make all the difference in caring for your birds. Trichomonas can also infect internal sites, particularly the bile duct. Birds with internal canker experience significant discomfort and may exhibit symptoms like weight loss and extreme lethargy. Early diagnosis and treatment are key to ensuring their recovery. Diagnosing trichomonas usually requires a vet's expertise. They may perform a fecal examination or swab test to confirm the presence of the parasite. Sometimes imaging may be used to assess if internal organs are affected, so don't hesitate to reach out to a professional if you suspect your bird is infected. Now let's focus on prevention. Managing the health of your flock is crucial, especially during the breeding season. Maintaining cleanliness in your loft is fundamental. This practice not only keeps your pigeons healthy, but also reduces the chances of outbreaks. In addition, ensure a high standard of hygiene in feeding and watering systems. Changing water frequently and using clean, fresh sources can significantly cut down the risk of transmission. When in doubt, the phrase, better safe than sorry, always applies. Also, keep an eye on environmental factors. Poor water quality, overcrowding, stress and inadequate nutrition can all contribute to increased susceptibility to illness. Remember, a strong healthy bird is less likely to fall victim to disease, so building resilience in your flock is essential. Interestingly, you should also be aware of the genetic component involved in resistance to canker. Some breeds of pigeons have shown a natural resilience, while others are more susceptible to infection. As you build your flock, consider these traits for healthier birds in the long run. If you do suspect trichomonas, treatment usually involves medications such as metronidazole or ronidazole. However, it's crucial to conduct treatment under the guidance of a veterinarian to minimize potential side effects and ensure effectiveness. Regular health checkups and maintaining a clean living environment can drastically reduce the risk of diseases like trichomonas. Keeping your flock healthy isn't just about treatment, it's about holistic care, which includes regular exercise, clean housing and good nutrition. In conclusion, managing trichomonas gallinae in racing pigeons requires vigilance and proactive measures. 
Monitoring health, ensuring proper hydration and maintaining clean conditions can go a long way in preventing outbreaks. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like and please share your thoughts or experiences with us in the comments. Together we can make our pigeon community stronger and healthier. Thanks for tuning into Pigeon Auction. Until next time, happy racing and keep those pigeons flying high. This is a small video from Peeper Racing Pigeon Veterinary about this racing pigeon problem. Uh, hello everybody, here we are again at Ask the Vet. This time we will talk about another important topic, Trichomonas. It's a one cellular parasite that lives mainly in the crop and the throat of the pigeon. It's a real classic pigeon parasite. So pigeons are the host of Trichomonas. All kind of Trichomonas parasites in the world, the host is pigeon. For pigeons itself, it is a very common disease, a very common parasite, and it is an important parasite certainly for racing. So, I mean, if pigeons are free uh, of trichomonas or they do not have a lot of trichomonas, in general they have better racing results. So, it's, a, it's an important parasite, but it is also in general not a very severe parasite, meaning a lot of pigeons have the parasite and are not really sick. They can have a little bit a red throat, but in most pigeons that's all. So they do not have a lot of disadvantages from the parasite in health. But for racing it does mean a difference. Some trichomonas strains are more pathogenic, meaning that some trichomonas strains can really cause disease and more severe disease, causing yellow swellings and yellow real ulcerations inside the throat, inside the crop and even inside the intestines. Sometimes it can even cause a navel infection, nestlings, uh, causing them to die. It can even infest liver, organs and other intestinal regions, so with possible death as a consequence. But most trichomonas strains are less harmful. So it's important to treat trichomonas to have good racing results, but at the same time it is also something we have to take into account that it will always be inside the pigeons and the pigeons have to have some equilibrium living with the parasite. Treatment, it's important to, because there is sometimes resistance against certain treatments that you change product, because sometimes we see Ronidazole does not work, and then sometimes another product like Metronidazole works, or vice versa. So changing treatments is a good thing, and the more treatments we have, in a way, the better. Also, it's important that you treat at the right moment in the racing season. So what I see is in a lot of cases when there's more than one night basketing and it's warmer weather, pigeons are easily infected. If it's only one night basket and there's, uh, it's colder weather, then the pigeons are less soon infected. In a lot of cases, in the middle of the seasons, you have to treat enough to be able to cope with that parasite. Okay, if you have more questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section. Thank you, bye.